right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below so that you can follow along. Today we're going to be walking through converting subcustomers. This exercise comes from Section 1, Lesson 5 of our Fast and Easy QBO Advanced Level Certification course. You can find out more about that right here. Um, if you would like access to tons more free exercise, we would love to have you join our free Facebook group, the QBO Gym Locker Room. Information is right there. So let's go ahead and dive into our exercise. As usual, we're gonna start in the sample company. If you don't know how to get your free QBOA account, or if you don't know how to access the sample company, of course, links about that are below as well. All right, so we're gonna start in the sample company. Let's read our scenario. Craig has decided to use projects instead of subcustomers to track the profitability of his jobs. How can you easily convert his existing subcustomers to projects? All right, so step one, First, we're gonna to need to turn on the projects feature. We're gonna click the gear icon and select account and settings. Now, if you are doing this right on the heels of the previous exercise, then you will already have it turned on. For me, I'm just gonna go ahead and walk through again how to turn on that setting. So in our sample company, we're gonna to go to gear icon, then select account and settings. Going back to my exercise here for a minute. Step two, we're going to select the advanced tab and then we're going to turn on organize all job related activity in one place. Okay, so we're going to select the advanced tab and then right here is uh, organize all job related activity in one place. Now, uh, you'll notice that as I move my cursor, each of these different little sections is highlighted. So what I need to do is click the section to open it for editing, and then I'm gonna click this to just turn it on. Once I've turned it on, I'm gonna click Save, and you want to give it a minute for uh, QuickBooks Online to kind of, um, you know, to, to make all of the change that it needs to make. So it's going to kind of refresh here for a little bit. You want to make sure that you do that before you go ahead and click Done. All right, going back to our exercise, step three. Next, we're gonna to return to the customer list. From the left navigation bar, select Sales and then Customers. So from the left navigation bar, select sales and then customers. Okay, then step four, only subcustomers that are set to bill with parent are, can be converted to projects. So you'll need to make this adjustment for Craig's existing sub customers. Okay, so we're gonna select the Freeman Sporting Goods Ocean View Road location. So here in my list of customers, Here's Freeman Sporting Goods, Ocean View Road is a sub-customer, but I want to make sure that it's set to bill with parent. That's because everything is going to uh, revert to the, the parent's information, so you wanna make sure you set that. So we've selected the Ocean View Road location. Now we're gonna select Edit. So this is the transaction list. We're just gonna click Edit right here. Going back to our exercise, step six and seven, we're gonna check bill parent customer, then click save. Okay, so right here where it says bill parent customer, we're gonna check that, because we wanna make sure these are all bill with parent, then click save. And now we're gonna do the same with the other sub customers. So there is a 55 Twin Lane location, as well as a Shara Barnett, Barnett Design location. Okay, so we're gonna go back to customers. We just did Ocean View Road, now we're gonna do Twin Lane. Click it, then click Edit, then click Bill with Parent Customer, and click Save. Go back to the customer list. And let's find Shara. So here's the Barnett design. Click Enter, or click on it, and then click Edit. Select Bill Parent, 
and then click Save. Okay, going back to our exercise, we just did that. Then step eight. Uh, now we're gonna go back to our customers list and you'll notice that there's a pop-up beneath the money bar. We're gonna uh, select Convert Now. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the customers list by clicking on Customers. And you'll notice up at the top, there is this little pop-up that says, do you organize subcustomers as projects? You can convert the first level of subcustomers into their own project, and you can select Convert Now. Okay, going back to our exercise. Step nine, click the checkbox at the top to select all of the customers, then click Convert, and you'll notice it'll say three, because that's how many are selected and then we're gonna get another prompt, okay? So we're gonna click these to select all three, okay? So now it's converting these sub-customers to projects. You can see here it says sub-customers. We're gonna convert them to projects. Then I'm gonna click Convert, okay? And here is where it's gonna say, I'm going to say Continue, okay? All right, and then step 10, Click Go to Projects. Okay, so we've got this little pop-up right here. Select Go to Projects. And now we're finished. Okay, now you can easily see the profitability of these former subcustomers. If desired, you can add the hourly cost rates of Craig's employees to track time costs associated with each product. Uh, project. Of course, check the previous exercise if you need help uh, doing that, because we did that quite a bit. That's what this pop-up is about. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. So you can see what the profit margin is of all of these three projects here in the Project Center. Um, one other thing that's brand new, so I don't even have it in the exercise because this is relatively new, is that you can actually now convert projects right inside the Project Center. So if I click this, You'll notice that it says convert from subcustomer. So there's an option you can do it from there rather than or in addition to from the customer list. All right. All right. That's it for subcustomers and projects. We're going to change gears now and talk about batch tagging. See you there.